My name is Koki Tanaka. I'm a 22-year-old introverted loser. Every day, I go through part-time jobs with no motivation. But that's just a temporary appearance. Yes, my true self is... Whoa! I've been waiting for this! Hey, everyone! Freshly picked and harvested, it's the Tokimeki Fruits! I'm the leader, the bright red fruit! I'm Ringo! Within the thorns lies a cute sweetness. I'm Maran. I... I'm the fresh and peachy pink member, Momo! Momo is unbelievably cute! She's my ultimate favorite, my reason for living! I love her so much! Yes, I am a huge fan of the underground idol trio, Tokimeki Fruits. They are classmates in the same high school, and my ultimate favorite is Momo, the Peachy Pink member. They aim to make a major debut, and their fan base is still around a few dozen. But that's why... Momo! I love you more than anything in this world! <laughs> to receive a response at the front like this, even after the live performance ends! Thank you always, Koki! No, no way! It's just natural for a nerd. Uh, three pictures, please. That many? Uh, but it might bother other customers. No way! I'm happy. The other two are busy, but I'm free. You guys! If you cheat on us with other idols, we won't allow it! Greetings, everyone. From the lower world. Whoa! The best! I don't have a specific character or anything. What are you saying? Momo, you are the cutest in the world! Huh? With a pure and innocent smile and genius level dance skills, no matter where you look, you're my number one! I can only see you! Koki! Uh, sorry, I got carried away. In this world, you're the only one I see. Koki, those words just now were truly moving! Oh, Otakuda! Were you participating today as well? Of course! As a fan of the whole group, I'll take pictures with everyone! That's one of the charms of the underground scene, huh? But with the proximity, troublesome nerds. Hey, isn't it okay? Get closer! Like, after this, just the two of us. Wait, wait a minute! That guy! He's the troublesome one I've been seeing often lately. I have to protect her right now. Excuse me, sir. It's troublesome if our precious idol is troubled. Huh? What's the big deal? Just a little. That's the director of the agency where Tokifuru belongs. Quite a formidable person. Reliable, too. A few days later. Today's live concert was fantastic, and I received a lot of responses. However, no matter how close we are, I shouldn't get carried away! Connecting on a personal level should be within the realm of fantasy! Huh? Um... Hmm? An argument? But that voice... This isn't cool! No mistake! It's Momo! <laughs> Wait a second! Who are you? Is this the troublesome guy? And he smells of alcohol! For now, I'll... <laughs> hey, she's my girlfriend! Don't touch my girl! <gasps> huh? That's a lie. The, the, the director will be here soon. Chuh. What the heck? Phew, he's gone. I lied on the spur of the moment. What do I do? Fantasizing about saving my favorite idol became a reality. Um, excuse me. You're always coming to see us, Koki, right? I, I, yeah, but... Ugh, Momo's overwhelming cuteness, even in private. If it's okay, as a thank you. No, I just helped someone in trouble. Let's leave it at that and meet at the next live performance. Huh? This is fine. A fan like me shouldn't have personal connections. I quietly kept this night in my heart and returned to my usual nerd activities. Or so I thought. Unexpectedly, I was summoned to a certain place after the next live. It's you, the one who protected Momo from that troublesome guy. Well, oh, well, sort of. And isn't this the dressing room? 
Ah, yes. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry. I try to be cautious, but I can't handle everything. I've already contacted the police about him because he's been a concern for a while. Ah! The hero who saved Momo. Always watching from the front row. You're Koki, right? Thank you for always supporting us. Uh, the two I was watching on stage just a moment ago are in front of me. But this happy atmosphere is overwhelming. I'll take a deep breath and leave. Right. Hey, director. Let's have this person be our bodyguard. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> what? We've started to have more idols, and if you wish, we can hire you as a full-time employee. You've been coming to our lives without fail every time. Exactly. See, Momo? Stop hiding forever. I... I'm not hiding or anything. But there's something I want to ask you for that, too. What? If my favorite gives me that look... Uh, I'll do it. Please let me do it. Good. Then we'll leave it to you until our major debut. Huh? Really? And so I quit my part-time job and officially signed an employment contract with the director's company. The job description was more like a manager than a bodyguard. According to the director, he wanted me to utilize the power of a former otaku. Hey, Koki! We'll be counting on you from today. Um, nice to see you. Momo, maybe she doesn't like having a former nerd as a manager. All right, let's get to it. What about today's set list? Huh? Already? But this is such an honor. How about something like this? Hmm, it feels like something we haven't done much. Uh, maybe talk to the director after all. Uh, I think this is really good. R really? Then it's decided. Shall we start preparing soon? A few hours later. Wow, today's set list was amazing. It's great that it was well received, but sorry, Otakuda, I'm on this side now. Great job, it was awesome. Yes, it was the most exciting one so far. Yeah, yeah. But this might be my calling. From then on, we put effort into advertising, and the number of customers gradually increased. I was getting used to interacting with the three as part of my job. Everyone line up! I'll take a proper photo! Yeah, yeah, the crowd has definitely grown, and everything is going smoothly. If we can continue without any major issues... Momo! Uh, him! Finally, we meet! Today, it's me and you. Excuse me, sir. She's our precious idol. Huh? Koki, I thought I hadn't seen you lately. You're on that side now. Ugh, I was planning to explain properly before going public, but it can't be helped. Don't interfere. Anyway, for now, I'll protect Momo, whatever happens. But even if I try to stop him... Hold on. Gah! Huh? He moved too fast, couldn't see. No, right now, Otakuda is pretending to pick up his glasses. Mr. Koki, I left that side to you. Otakuda! I got saved again. Afterward, the police and the director arrived, and the troublesome person was safely taken away. I explained the situation to my former nerd friends, and I received understanding and support. Just when I was reminding myself not to cross the line despite being a manager... Taking into account your usual work, let me dedicate this to you. What's this? The key to the share house where we live. Huh? It's too late if something happens, right? Yeah, and we might oversleep too. But really, I won't have a use for this, right? That's what I thought, but... Hey, I'm calling and no one's here? Furniture has arrived, so is it part of the manager's job to carry it? But if I get injured, it'll be troublesome. Koki? Welcome! Wha She's wearing her room clothes! Wait, no, this is still work. Hey, where are the other two? They suddenly went shopping, so it's just the two of us. Uh, right! Then let's quickly carry it in! Oh. Uh. Calm down, me. 
This heartbeat is just from carrying furniture. Huh? Is something wrong? Um, I was wondering about the new costumes. Oh, right. I wanted to discuss that a bit. Hmm. This one is good, too. But I wonder about the size. But come to think of it, Momo is proactive about behind-the-scenes stuff. Hmm. Or maybe she enjoys talking to me. Huh? Oh, sorry. What were you... What? Measure the size? What? N no, no way! But isn't this also part of the manager's job? Using that as a job privilege. We're back! Ooh! Oh my, oh my! Was it too soon? Shall we go again? Well, what do you two mean by that? I told you, it's work, just work! All right, all right, we get it. Since then, whenever there was a bug or someone overslept, I started going to their house. Meetings became a routine, and my stay time increased for various reasons. However, I tried not to develop any strange habits as a manager. Sorry, you always accompany me until late after work. No problem, I like this kind of thing. But I appreciate it. I'm just an amateur after all, and I feel like I'm dragging the three of you down. I worry that I might not be contributing enough. That's not true! Koki, you've been supporting us from the front row since our debut! You were always looking at me the most. Momo, if she says such kind words to me... No, no! Uh, right! Recently, there seems to be an idol group that might become our rivals. Watching other idols? Well, it's part of the job, I guess. Hmm. Even though I'm right in front of you? Momo, your eyes look kinda scary. Huh. What am I doing now? Uh, no, it was nothing unusual, right? What was that look just now? But I shouldn't let strange feelings arise. I need to focus on my work. Over time, Tokimiki Fruit's popularity soared. Even during late night hours, they appeared on TV. Ringo became a Tsundere character's game voice actor. Maron started getting personal jobs like modeling. Koki, check this line here. Koki, can you do a pose for me? Got it, got it. Wait a moment. <laughs> oh, there's also this for Momo. Oh, I see. I'll ask about it again tomorrow. Huh? Something seems off lately. All right, Ringo, about the lines. Mm, it's okay already. Me too. Ah, uh, right. A few days later. Lately, everyone seems a bit strange. Anyway, I should get Momo some personal work. Good morning. Oh, where are the other two? They're having a meeting for their personal jobs with the director. I thought they told you. Is that so? Oh, uh, but Momo, we should also discuss your personal work. No, it's okay. <laughs> then today it'll be just us. Oh, uh, by the way, Momo, is there any specific job you'd like to do? Mm hmm? Negotiations successful? Did she manage to secure a job? Who? Ah, uh, it's work. A woman? Ah. Uh. Hey, it's a woman, right? Even though we're alone. M Momo, your eyes look kind of... You're cheating. You said you only have eyes for me. Ch cheating? It's not like we're dating or anything. You said you were my boyfriend back then. Uh, that was part of the act. Huh? Uh, right. It was just... Uh, <laughs> acting. Sorry. I've been acting strange lately. <laughs> uh. What's wrong? Maybe Momo feels neglected since she hasn't had many personal jobs lately? Anyway, I need to find her some work. However, even after that, Momo remained reluctant about personal jobs. On the other hand, thanks to Ringo and Marone gaining recognition, they finally received an offer for a major debut. They quickly arranged a meeting with the label representative, including the director. The debut will be with all three of you, and we will handle the management. I guess I'm no longer needed.
but this loneliness is just my ego. I have to push them forward in the end. Congratulations, all three of you. This means your dreams. We can't accept those conditions. Huh? I apologize, but we have two conditions of our own. First, if we make our major debut, make it just Maran and me as a duo. But wait a minute, why? We've been together as three all this time. Considering Momo's feelings. We've thought about it. We've considered it. Momo, thank you for being with us until now. You haven't forgotten that promise, right? Yeah. What promise is that? Back in high school, we became friends because we all liked idols. But what Momo admired was being behind the scenes in the idol world. Even so, we convinced Momo saying, you're so cute, let's take the stage together. The promise we made us three. If we find someone we want to marry, we'll step down from the spotlight, right? I see, that's why all this time. But I haven't found someone like that. Maybe you have. Right here next to you. Huh? We felt guilty, thinking we might be forcing you into this relationship. But there's no man who can be entrusted with the Momo, who's pure and innocent. That's what we thought. And then, when we thought that, a hero nerd who had been supporting Momo diligently and came to her rescue appeared. <gasps> well... Momo was already head over heels from the start, right? But since Momo is reserved, we did various things to support her. Teasing her jealousy and such. You... you did that on purpose! And I fell for it. So Momo, we believe we can trust you, Koki. All three of us have always thought that. What do you say, Koki? All three of us? It's me. I've already heard the situation from them, and the contract is already settled, so rest assured. Contract? Wait, does that mean the photo from before was meant to represent that? Of course it's up to you guys. But we don't want to force it anymore. Koki, please don't worry about me. I don't have the confidence to stand on stage anymore. And involving you in my life... No, I want you to involve me. Huh? In the first place, my life wouldn't make sense without you. <gasps> sure, I've been working hard for the three of you, but in the end, I can only see you, Momo. Koki! Former nerd, former manager, but now, will you be my wife? That's... Of course! Whoa! I won't let you go anymore! I'll have you all to myself! If you look elsewhere, I won't forgive you! M momo Oops! Did we just... Overstimulate them? Oh, right. The other condition is... After that, Momo announced her retirement along with the marriage, disappearing from the public eye. On the other hand, Ringo and Marone made a major debut as Tokimeki Fruits. They fulfilled the exchange contract, achieving three times the expected sales if they had debuted as three in just a few years. And the other contract they made was... Whew, I'm tired. Water, please. Sure thing. These costumes are truly the best, as expected from a popular stylist. <laughs> it's all thanks to you two. Yes, even in the major debut, I remain their manager and Momo was in charge of costumes and choreography. Meanwhile, the director is still searching for hidden gems underground. Hey, how about we all go grab a meal for the first time in a while? Sounds good. Yeah, great idea. Momo, you don't have anything else later, right? Momo? Of course it's fine. But both of you remember, Koki is mine, okay? Koki, you won't Ever cheat, right? Promise? Eek! Of course, absolutely. Certainly, Ringo and Marone may have stimulated a new side of Momo, but this was also incredibly cute, so it was all okay. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next, and 
other videos too!